Hello YouTube, this is Tier Price 67 and we are back with our Week 2 battle for the BPR Daily. This week we're going up against King Sosa and his LA Infernapes. I've actually never met King Sosa before, this is the first time I've ever gotten to play him. I've ever like seen him in the same league that I'm in. He may have been in other leagues to be fair. There are some leagues I just don't remember, but I think this is the first time I've ever played him. So I'm very excited about that. He's also 1-0 like me. Uh, if you have not seen my last battle, I do suggest checking it out. It was a fun battle versus Tone for week one. And so, first off, we'll go over what I am bringing versus King Sosa. So, first off, he has a Iron Valiant, and it is the Terra with Terra Fairy or Terra Steel. Honestly, both amazing typings. I think for Iron Valiant, it is a very scary mod. Terra just makes it even scarier. And I have a common weakness of drafting teams weak to Iron Valiant, and this season is no different. Next, he has a Skeletors. Then an Iron Treads, a Woke Chien, a Tatsugiri, which is kind of surprising. I've honestly, I don't really rate Tatsugiri that well in singles format. It does have a very high base special attack, so that could come in handy. He has a Mudsdale, a Screamtail, a Rotom Wash, a Morgrum, an Orthworm, and a Swalot. So, this is the team I'm going to be bringing up against him. So, first off, we have my good friend, the Roaring Moon. I'm actually Terra Flying this week instead of Terra Dark. I just feel like with Wo Chien specifically, I kind of just want to just get a bunch of damage off of Wo Chien first thing without having to be like clicking U turn. I just want to click Acro Bags and just smoke it. I'm running the Lump Berry, so uh, this set is specifically to set up on stuff like Skeledurge or Screen Tail. So if I'm setting up on Screen Tail, I do need to Terra first thing because a Dazzle Gleam from Screamtail, even though it is very weak, is still going to do a bunch of damage because I am four times weak to Dazzle Gleam. And for Skeletors, it, I don't think I need to Terra versus it. I think not Terraing versus Skeletors is better. You could click Will-O-Wisp and that gives me the free turn to set up Dragon Dance. So I'm running Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Crunch, Acrobatics. So Acrobatics is not that strong without me losing my item. So I need the Lumberry to proc either versus a Skeletor's clicking Willow or a Screamtail for clicking uh, Thunder Wave or a Run and Wash, you know, clicking Thunder Wave, clicking Willow Wisp, either or. So I do have my options of proccing this Lumberry. Also, I am max speed and I am making sure that I outspeed Iron Valiant at max speed, Jolly or Timid. If, hang on if he wants to be special or physical Iron Valiant. I think both of them have their merits versus me. I think special is a little bit better versus me, but both have their merits nonetheless. Running Earthquake. Of course, I need to hit Skeledurge and Iron Treads very hard. Well, Skeledurge I hit with Crunch. I need to hit Iron Treads very hard, and I think Earthquake was probably my best option for it. Uh, Crunch, of course, is just stab and hits a lot of his team really hard. Then Acrobatics becomes stab after a Terra Flying and I am able to take out both Iron Valiant and Wo Chien after a plus one boost. So, if I lose my Lumberry, of course. Well, I think Wo Chien can live it, but it does take out Iron Valiant. So next up, we have our Paladin. And we are just a Choice Bandit, three water attacks in close combat. He doesn't really have a break switch in once again. Wo Chien and Tatsugiri, and possibly Run and Wash, but Close combat kind of just breaks through all three of them. So that's kind of like scary on his part. So that's kind of why I'm just like, I'm just gonna be a choice bandit this time around. Just jet punch, flip turn, and wave crash. Flip turn, he has a kind of a slow team outside of Iron Valiant, Springtail, and Iron Treads. It just kind of drops off after that to run and wash. So that gives him the opportunity to just a flip turn. I'm not gonna click flip turn on run and wash until I know it's set. If it's defensive set, I will, but I'm an adamant nature. So technically, Rotom Wash can outspeed me if it is timid. Next up, we have an Arboliva. Now, I believe Arboliva is one of the best pivots for Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash cannot do anything to this mod outside like just burning it and pivoting out. It's hilarious that as like a low-tier mod like this is able just to hard wall Rotom Wash so well, and it also sets up grassy terrain. Mudsdale is a ground type. Iron Treads is a ground type. My team struggles versus ground types. So, I set up Grassy Terrain, and now I am better handled for Iron Treads, I am better handled for Mudsdale. So, that's kind of what the whole hope and process here for Arboliva is. 
also, it just hits really hard. Leaf Storm, base 120 special attack, Earth Power, Pollen Puff, Pollen Puff specifically for Wo Qian. Uh, it does not outgo Wo Qian. Wo Qian is just that stupid bulky, but it does a nice 60%, and that is very nice for me. I'm running Synthesis. I was struggling between Leech Seed and Synthesis. Uh, this could bite me. Honestly, Screamtail does just use this as like a calm mindset fire if it is a calm mindset. But I do have my Alps versus Screamtail still, so I feel like I can run this set confidently. Next up, we have Annihilate. His team struggles versus Annihilate. Plain and simple. That's he. His like best checks for our Iron Valiant and. I guess that's about it. <laughs> Iron Valiant is like his main switch in for this. It's it does and once it gets a plus one, it is able to Oko with Moonblast or Spirit Break if it's like uh, plus two Sword Stance. So I do need to be weary of that. But otherwise, Rage Fist can break through Iron Valiant after just a couple of boosts from hits from like Iron Treads or. Chien. So, like, a lot of his defensive mons aren't able to break through Annihilate so easily, and I could just start snowballing there. I'm also a Resto Chesto set. Uh, it's kind of iffy on, like, do I really think this is great, but I just, I felt like I don't need <laughs> three attacking moves. Rage Fist and Drain Punch is all I need. And if I could just get Rest Off versus maybe, like, a Iron Treads that refuse to click knock, or a Tatsugiri even, if he wants to bring Tatsugiri as a spinner. So I could just get rest off on that, get back to full, keep the chest out, and then be even more threatening. Next up we have good old Tinkaton. And Tinkaton, honestly, probably uh, the best Iron Valiant check that I have on my team. Outside maybe Hatterene, but I just think Tinkaton provides more pressure as a steel type and he is terra fairy i am able to just to take it out with gigaton hammer i could take it out with gigaton hammer either way uh <laughs> gigaton hammer is broken it also i have knockoff support and i get rocks up which is i think very important uh once again his removal are spinners and i have probably the best spin blocker for iron treads and one of the best spin blockers for toxic here so i'm very i'm very confident that i can get my rocks up and keep them up. Next up we have Iron Moth with Fire Dance, Sludge Wave, Toxic Spikes, and Energy Ball. I am running T-Spikes specifically because his poison type is Swalot and he only has spinners. So I can get T-Spikes up and I can block the spinners. And then he kind of struggles very hard once his T-Spikes are up. Once his bonds get poisoned, it wears them down very quickly. Uh, Iron Valiant, Greentail, both of them do not like being poisoned at all. Mudsdale also doesn't like being poisoned. Tatsugiri won't appreciate it. Wu Qian definitely won't appreciate it. I think he's just, I think just poison overall is just very good versus him. So I'm running T Spikes for that. Yeah, that is my team. Uh, I'm very excited for this battle. It's definitely, I think it's definitely gonna be like a lot tougher for me. I don't feel as like confident as I did versus tone because versus tone I just felt like I had like a lot of mods to handle his very well and like his palafin check was just to it KO'd the close combat anyways so palafin kind of went in versus tone um I think Sosa has a very weird like team that is like something I wouldn't draft myself but that is no knock on him it's just something I wouldn't draft it doesn't mean it's not good I just think that he can definitely beat me up Skullagerge is very scary Honestly, into my team, Terra or not. And Tatsukiri, hilariously, is actually a good pivot if I'm stuck in water moves with my Palafin. So, like, it could definitely go awkward for me, depending on how I play. So I just need to play smart and and uh, just be ready for anything that he throws at me. So yeah, uh, I will catch you. So that's my team, and I will catch you all when the battle begins. All right, we're here with the battle. Now let's see what he wants to bring here. So he is bringing the Iron Valiant, of course, kind of what I expected here. It does go hard into my team. Very scary mod. Next up is Rotom Wash. It's a good pivot. So I have no problems with that. Uh, Screamtail. 
Uh, once again, if it does end up being like a calm mindset, it can be kind of threatening. Like just staying up versus me. And going in from there. Skeledirge, of course, as I discussed earlier in the team builder, it is uh, very threatening versus my team, even without Terra. Ochien, uh, bulky pivot, can handle wire type spam of Palafin, and then Iron Tread. So, honestly, this is probably the six that I would have brought versus myself as well. Uh, he does bring, one thing I do need to be worried about is screens from Screen Tail. That could be very threatening early on. But outside of that, I think I am good to go. Uh, these are the six I'll bring. And good luck, have fun to my opponent, King Sosa, and let's get this battle started. Let's see what he wants to lead here. Alright. Oh, that's a fire outfit. I love it. Okay, so... He does lead Iron Tread. Get my team in for you here. Some earlier, yeah. I have 40 seconds. Of I just want to figure out, like, I think he's, he's probably going to like. I don't care about damage taken on this Palafin. Rotom. Perfect. He's Rocky Helmet Rotom. Okay, so he's a defensive Rotom. That's good to know. So my Palafin does take a lot of damage there. Uh, maybe I should have this hard switched. I'm okay with that, either way. Uh, not taking any damage on Nightlife is great. Let's go Arbaliva. I mean, I'm expecting him just a hard full switch, so I'm going to click Earth Power. Yeah, there's a full switch. Set the terrain so that earthquakes don't do much to me. Let's go into Skeledurge. If I can just hit off on Skeledurge, it's amazing. So I put immense pressure on Skeledurge for OTN. That's actually fine. The best part of this, early chip on OTN, is amazing for me. Does he leftovers? He's not leftovers. Okay, so Colin Puff does a crap ton of Wuchan. And Wuchan isn't able to directly threaten me back. It's just like the time of Wuchan is gone. That's amazing. I now have like. Better like water spam as well. The Royal Watch is Rocky Helmet, so it doesn't it can't recover its HP unless it's rest as well. So if I just get continuous chip on Rotom, I'm in an amazing spot. Now the big issue is he should go Skeledurge here. And I don't like my switch into Skeledurge. So I am in an awkward position in that way, I think. Let's see what he's, he's thinking here. So that Pond Pump just took out the Wojian. I think the Wojian was just max physical defense for the body press to do it as much damage as it could, which is fine. Um, I knew that I would live anyways, because Arduino keep broken. And 
living out hit. He does go Skeletor. Um, oh, he's shiny. Shiny's kind of cool. I like that. So, what do I want to go in here? I can go Palafin. I don't know if I want to go Palafin, though. Um, I could go Iron Moth and get my T-Spikes up, and then I just die to Earth Power. Honestly, I think. As much as I don't like this, I think... I think Palafin's my play. He will o he will o but I'm not in a good position overall because my Arbaliva is damaged. Arbaliva can live a Torch Song if it's not damaged. Like, it takes like 60%. Yeah, he does have a Torch Song. I think... I have to close combat here. I think... It's a crazy play, but I'm gonna click it. He withdraws. And he goes into the launch. Yes, let's go, let's go! Alright, this close combat is going to do a ton. Okay, so I'm banded, so I'm stuck in close combat either way here. I want to pivot. I don't want to go there yet. But cool, I clicked post combat, so the Realm Watch is now in range of Wave Crash. I think she either a hard withdrawal to the Skeletor or a quick full swap. Hard withdrawal, I'm guessing to Skeletor because he knows I'm banned that damage. I think I should have been more aggressive and not like... Um, ...to my, uh, Dragon Dark type, but she's fine. How much... So I am Palafin. So I want to see how much Skeletor's give to... about 50. He's an offensive Skeletor, which is very unfortunate. I can't really just sit here with my move, unfortunately. Yeah, so, since he's offensive, my Arboliva does not take a hit. Yeah, it does not take a hit at all. I think this is very awkward. I think my play is to go to the Shmon, get my teeth spikes up, and then I go hard, and then I go Palafin. Just click. I'm literally just sacking this to get teeth spikes up. Take me out. This is 
a very scary mod. But I just want to touch power. Oh, he's 
not even boots. That's amazing. Poisoning the Skeletor is spectacular. opportunity then for throwing them. Black Pond are... It does have a full health Iron Valiant still. So I do need to be worried about that. And he does have uh, the Iron Valiant and the Iron Chest. Uh, Iron Valiant Iron Chest.
dance again. I do want to guarantee Earthquake killing Iron Valiant, because I do not know. I am Foreign Moon. Plus two. Iron Valiant. Earthquake does not kill, but Earthquake plus poison damage. I think the same again. It me, that's fine. I do the attack up. Spring tail goes down. was amazing for me, especially since he wasn't Boots Skeledurge. Since he wasn't Boots Skeledurge, I could just kind of wear it down to the point where I could just start spamming Jet Punch with uh, Palafin. And I don't know if like maybe like killing Roman Wash with Close Combat would have been better. I don't know. I think I think that was just a good... I think clicking uh, two Jet Punches there was better for me because I didn't want to just allow Skeledurge to come back in for free. So I think just taking... Uh, the two Rocky Helmet chips, and then I still live, of course, so that meant Screen Tail could come in instead of Skeletor. So, I think overall, I am happy with how that went. Uh, I think I called some good doubles early on, with like, uh, close combats, and Earth Power didn't <laughs> really matter. I was hoping it would go Skeletor, but clicking Earth Power, and then just clicking Pawn Top later, didn't really matter for me, but it was still free. It was still, I thought it was a cool, cool call out. No, I got it technically wrong, but yeah. Overall, GG's to King Sosa. That was a, still a scary team to play, honestly. Those six, uh, definitely very scary. So I do wish him luck for the rest of the season. I do hope I get to face him again in playoffs. I do want to bring some other mods as well. Like Arbaliva did do work against Renan Wash, and it did take out <laughs> the Slug, which is amazing. But um, outside of that, I think I could like brought other mods as well, so yeah. 
Uh, once again, GG's to my opponent. I had a lot of fun doing this battle. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.